Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. In this short video, I want to show you two tutorials, how to avoid repetition in filament code base. And this will be more like a Laravel tip or trick than filament, just adopted to filament code base. So for example, if you have a form where you need to have live calculations of some field based on other fields, the same calculation of like total cost or whatever attached to multiple fields. So you would need to repeat the same condition, something like this. So form schema, one input after state updated, set total cost field based on other values. And then if the tax is changed, repeating absolutely the same identical operation. And then the third is also identical and it is all attached to the text input of total cost. Now, how to avoid that repetition? And this is our tutorial on filament examples, free tutorial. I will link that in the description below. In your filament resource, you can create other methods inside of resource. So you're not limited to just form and table. For example, you can refactor that repeating code into a separate method. For example, let's call it update total cost and we'll pass get and set as parameters or you may pass the actual values of those three cost quantity and tax and then that method would contain just the same thing and in all those three places you would call that method important notice that method should be static and it should be called with self instead of this because the main methods of filament resource are static so you cannot call this private method it's all self with parameters so your method would not even know about the state of the form you need to pass all the values specifically and make that method static as well so that's one example of refactoring and then another example pretty similar i saw on blue sky and this is probably the first time on this channel i mentioned blue sky and not twitter i often get the tips from twitter but i start reading blue sky feeds i'm not on there yet i'm not in a hurry there but i do see some random tips on blue sky that are not posted on twitter anymore and this is one of them from florian langer who is thanking dennis cock the filament core team member for this tip and he blogged about it so here's a blog article i will zoom that in so if you have company find for example again in multiple fields so for example you have placeholder that calls company find here and then another placeholder like this. This is just one example, but basically what if you need to have company find in multiple places in the same filament resource? So it would call database multiple times then, right? One of the possible solutions is Laravel kind of trick, less known function called once. Once is kind of an internal cache for callback function in this case, which stores the value in the memory and prevents that exact code from being called again. Instead, it is taking the same result without calling the database again. And then in all the places where you need that company find, you change that to static get company, which again is a static function inside of the same resource. So you may call it with static or self as in previous example. So yeah, all in all, don't be afraid to experiment within the class of filament resource. You may create separate static methods to offload some functionality of the filament resource into your own custom functions. What do you think? Do you know any other methods how to refactor similar situations from both articles? Or did you encounter any issues while doing something like that? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.